What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are finishing up our WWE Elite Greatest Hits Series 2 Series. And today, we're finishing it up with Blue Tista and DDP. Two figures that are probably the biggest head scratchers in this series. I know a lot of people make cases for this DDP, but this is a figure that released not, like, not that long ago. I don't know if you can really fully justify having this guy in the set. I saw this guy Royal Rumble weekend in San Antonio. There was like 47 of them that I could have copped, and they were like $30 each, and I ended up passing on them. And I'm glad I did now, because now I can finally own this figure, and I actually have four of these, so I, I'm, I'm adding an updated one. So here's Blue Tista, man. If you guys are interested in grabbing these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but here's Blue Tista. Here's DDP. Front viewing window, of course. Standard elite packaging. On the side, you get a beautiful shot of both guys there. On the back, here's a shot of DDP and Batista. Rest of the figures in the wave. Names on the side, as always, but let's shut the hell up. Crack both of these guys out of their packaging. They both got blue and black. They all tie into their packaging. Let's take them out. Take a look at them on the rotating base. Shut the hell up and get into it. So here's Blue Tista and DDP out of the packaging, man. Really like what I'm seeing here. It's really cool because this Blue Tista, it, like, I get two sides of the coin here. The Blue Tista figure I've owned like five or six times. I've had that figure a lot. I actually have four of them in their base form up on my shelf. And if you take a picture of my collection up on the shelf, I've actually got a lot of people that hit me up and they say, why the hell do you have four blue Tistas? Because you can see like four bright blue figures and it looks like one big blob of blue on my shelf, which is kind of crazy. So getting another one of these is just hilarious to me. And then you have the other side of the coin with the DDP figure that I never got. I know it's a recent release. The DDP is probably the one that I was most disappointed being in the Greatest Hits line. I know we talk about the Seth Rollins and all those things, but this one like legitimately came out a year or two ago. I think it's two years ago. So to have this one re-released so soon, that was probably my biggest issue with it, but I'm actually shocked by it. I'm, I'm actually getting a big kick out of it. I really enjoy the figure, and I'm quite shocked by it, which we're going to get into. I like the airbrush details and some different stuff we got going on here. And for my Ready to Rumble fans, he's actually posed in the packaging with the diamond upside down, which I forgot to mention. But nonetheless, man, let's dive into Blue Tista's accessories and Blue Tista. Then we'll run it back and take a closer look at DDP's accessories and DDP. All right, guys, so for Batista's accessories, you do get the denim jean jacket, which I never really thought looked like a denim jean jacket. I think you could do a lot better with this. That's what I think it's supposed to be, if I'm not mistaken. It's supposed to be like a denim jacket, I think. I've seen people put it on Dolph Ziggler before, unless I'm just a raging idiot. But I think it's supposed to be a denim jacket, but it may not be, and I'm just a moron. But you get some sunglasses, a hat, those. Those, style, that, that, those kind of hats down there, man, I'm just not a fan of them. Then we get a couple of interchangeable hands. So like I said, the vest is, you know, we saw this way back when. And I guess it's technically not supposed to be a denim jacket, but it, like, this mold is very weird. It's got, like, buckles and belts. It looks like a, you know, like, if you made this black or something, it looks like it would be on, like, Ricochet or, or somebody like that. But it's got, like, zippers and stuff on it. We saw this originally with the figure. And then we also get these white sunglasses with black shades, which are pretty cool. They fit the figure well. You guys already saw these on the, on the figure itself. And you guys originally already saw this like vanilla creamy style hat or the color of this hat And I've never been a big fan of these style hats. I just don't like them mm -mm. No, I don't and they both look good on the figure It's just uh, they're not my style But these originally came with the elite 33 Batista Which is where Batista comes from and then you get sexy mama Mike holding hands And then of course the fisted hands and both of them have tattoo detail, which is pretty cool I think that's a nice touch. I mean he has tattoos on his hands, so they should be there It's just it, the his figure didn't have them last time the the original blue Tista did not have tattoos on the hands at all All right guys, so for the Batista head sculpt, this is new compared to the last one I don't think this is a new sculpt this this looks to me to be the Elite 72 sculpt, just repainted differently. At least that's what I'm seeing here. But I like the true effects on the beard and stuff like that. It looks really good. I think this fits the time, you know? I think it looks just like him for the most part. I think his last figure had a bald spot, though. This one does not have a bald spot, so I don't know which one's more accurate. I feel like the bald spot's probably accurate, but I could be wrong about that. I'm, I'm not entirely sure there. Got the beautiful back tattoo here, which is very nice. Good tattoo decals there, detail. And then you have all of his tattoos here. You got, you know, the added on stuff that he's had here. Since then, he's had, like, his whole torso almost practically covered now, so that is what it is, but he does have, you know, all of his tattoos going down here on his torso, on his belly button. He's got the blue sleeves, blue trunks. I think this is supposed to be, like, a jujitsu logo or something like that here on the trunks. Looks kind of like the Linkin Park logo a little bit, and then they couldn't put that on there for obvious reasons, so they just gave him the Target logo. And then you do have the uh, beefy thighs here, blue knee pads, black outline, blue shin covers or calf sleeves, and these were McDavid, so these actually 
He wore McDavid sleeves too that had pads in them. Being an athlete, I know exactly what he's wearing there. I've bought my fair share of McDavid sleeves. And then he did have some Jordan 28s on. These aren't accurate to what they're supposed to look like, but I mean, you got to give him a telepass here. They just went with a, a typical sculpt here. I mean, since this, I think this is the original sculpt that he came with. But since then, also, I think these straps are supposed to be on the inside, not the outside. So maybe these are flipped. Because on, on my original Blue Tista, or on one of my Blue Tistas, the straps are on the inside. So maybe one of them's effed up. They got the Jordan, you know, Jumpman logo on them. They're like tie-dye looking. They're like a blue colorway. And that shoe actually sucked ass, but they were like, you could either have them unzipped and folded over and tied, or you could tie them up and then zip them up. They're very terrible. I didn't, I never like them, but nonetheless. But Blue Tees is not bad. He's always been able to pose around pretty good. I am finding like my shoulders a bit loose here, which I, you know, they gave him the new striated shoulders, so it, it is more accurate. It looks a lot better. But for your comparison, we do have the original Blue Tista right here. Here. And it looks like all the colors are the same. I'm not noticing any color differences or something like that. But head sculpt looks better over here. You know, uh, the sleeves are different. Obviously, he's got double jointed arms compared to this. It just, I, I don't know. Like, it is a cool to see, like, updates. Tattoos on the hands. Head sculpt update. You know, there's some cool things here that they've done. The shade of blue here is probably more accurate to the actual shoes in real life. They're actually more brighter and saturated. But all the other blues look to be pretty much the same. And then all of this is pretty much the same. There's not, like, a ton of different differences but you guys can see the bald spot there so that's that's pretty interesting but yeah you know it's it's a blue tista comparison and that that pretty much wraps up your blue tista comparison and i don't think we needed this and then for ddp very similar to batista except you don't get sunglasses or a hat but you do get a vest you get interchangeable hands then you get a little bluetooth headset it's like a bluetooth mic sort of headset deal and it plugs into the head sculpt you guys already saw it on there if you guys were wondering what this is it is an accessory it does come out kind of hard to get it to focus here but it's a black color and they did this because of ddp yoga you know he leads yoga classes and does like live streams and does all that dvd stuff so you know it is a cool accessory like i think it's unique to include but totally two different eras of ddp you know it was like i'm to my knowledge he wasn't doing ddp yoga back then you know so nonetheless i guess it is cool for his figure and it kind of gives you like an updated ddp head skull you can plug that in there put him in some different attire and make a ddp workout figure and you have his entrance vest which is very nostalgic for me so like anytime you got like these lightning designs and ddp and hollywood hogan and sting it's just like it, it all kind of just gives me like wcw nostalgic vibes and then you have this blue and then you have the hands together for the for the diamond pattern and then you got bang man there very cool vest got ddp on the front as well i love the airbrush look of everything especially around that time man everything was effing airbrushed it was uh, like people should bring that back man the grungy fantastic alternative style rock music and an airbrush and airbrush brush t-shirts and designs and singlets it's just what a time to be alive man then you do get the black tape mic holding hands with the finger tape on there which i'm pretty sure he wore like gloves it wasn't even like hand tape so i don't know if these are accurate and then you have the diamond cutter or diamond style hands here with the same paint black hand tape black finger tape so for ddp's head sculpt i like this head sculpt i always kind of have i think it has a lot of likeness to it i think they got the haircut right i think the likeness is there his eyes look a bit weird when they're painted this way. I feel like you could use, like, I don't know. I feel like maybe there's too much white in there or something. But at the end of the day, I think it does look like him. One thing I don't like, though, is when you remove that headpiece, you get this big old side hole right there behind the ear, which I guess isn't, like, a massive deal. And you could always, like, fill it or something or sculpt over it or I, I don't know. You could do something, but... I don't know, it's just something worth mentioning, but he's got uh, he's got the same muscular torso that we've seen from DDP. Star tattoo there, he's got all of his tattoos on there. Probably too jacked, to be honest with you. I don't mind the torso, but the arms are probably too jacked. I think standard elite, like Seth Rollins' arms would have been perfect, but they gave him like more jacked arms here, which I guess isn't the biggest deal ever, but you know, that it's it's worth mentioning at least. You got the black wrist tape, then he's got Shinsuke Nakamura crotch and legs in the black colorway, and then you do have like the same design. Then you have like the same design that we saw on his vest on here and it just wraps around there and then that's pretty much it the rest is just you know just standard black pants and then he doesn't have kick pad feet he has boots feet which i think are accurate i'd like to see them make a tajiri out of this mold or not this exact mold because i think i think a daniel bryan torso would work for tajiri but there is ddp and he's got ball joints you know because it is a shinsuke nakamura 
This figure's actually shocked me a lot. I actually like posing this guy around. Pretty fun figure, I'd say. I don't have anything really to compare him to because ever, I have owned the Elite 36 DDP about seven times, and every time I got it, I used it for a Kenny Omega Custom. So I don't have the original anymore. I, I All it is is the figure without a head and arm because I always used his parts for Kenny Omega. So that's exactly what happened. So uh, I could pull that up here, but that would be no point because it's all headless and stuff. And then I'd pull the heads off and make Kenny Omega's out of the hair pieces. Now we don't have to do that anymore, which is just a dream. What a day we live in, man. But now we get to deal with uh, another release, Blutista. But here is both figures up next to each other. If you guys wanted to see that, uh, you know, because of the legendary feud of DDP and Blutista way back in the day. There's somebody that's going to watch this and genuinely believe that that took place. But that's pretty much going to wrap up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite Greatest Hits Series 2 DDP and Blue Tista figure review, man. Had a lot of fun with these figures. I'm actually shocked by them. Uh, my biggest gripes, really, are just that I don't know if these two figures belonged. I think these are probably the two hottest takes in the entire Greatest Hits wave. Like, I know, like, like Seth Rollins, it wasn't the, it wasn't what we expected. I don't think anybody had a real issue with seeing a re-release of a Seth Rollins previous figure. It's more of they just didn't fix it like we thought they would. And then you have DDP and Blutista, which are kind of head scratchers. Like, some people are okay with the DDP being in here. I don't hate that it's in here. It's just, but it's a head scratcher to, to me personally. And then the Blutista, I just, I, how many people were lining up down the block for the Blutista figure, man? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe you can let me know down below. I think the Elite 72 would have been a better insertion here from Batista figures. Hell, the Elite 2, the Elite 6, the Elite 30. Like, legitimately, the the Batista Elite that people probably would skip over would be this Blutista. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You guys can let me know all of that stuff down in the comment section below. But I enjoy both figures. It's just, you know what? I'm, I, it's a little head scratching, you know? But we're going to rank these figures. I don't know what video I'll do it in. You guys can let me know if you guys want to see a ranking of this set. I thought about doing it in this video. Probably should have. But oh well. We'll just have to wait. But that's going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And a huge shout out to our patron backers. Thank you so much to the MDT Patreon supporters. You guys are the absolute best. Always appreciate you guys so much. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron backer, link in the description below. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. We'll never be